Planck's quantum hypothesis. Because of the tremendous discrepancy between measured black body spectra and the ultraviolet catastrophe predicted by then current theory, a new idea was needed to match the observed data. The wave theory of light could not explain the way the black body glows as a function of its temperature. So in 1900, Max Planck made a brilliant assumption that black bodies do not emit electromagnetic radiation with any continuous values. They could only do so in multiples of small, distinct amounts of energy called quanta. When he applied this assumption to the black body problem, the ultraviolet catastrophe disappeared. Planck described these energy quanta in the, with the following formula. E, the energy, is equal to H, F, where F is the frequency. And H is called Planck's constant. H equals 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And as we'll find, this is one of the fundamental constants of nature and one that we'll be using a lot as we go forward. Planck didn't really believe this idea of quantized energy, but it worked. It was like, you know what the answer is you're supposed to get, and you've done something and you got it, but you don't quite know why. It didn't make sense to him that only certain energies were allowed. Why couldn't there be just any energy? Planck thought a real solution would eventually be found, but this one worked for some reason. Planck continued to work with his theory in the hopes of making h equal to zero. If he could, he'd be able to get rid of this idea of quantized energy levels, but he didn't succeed. And it turned out that h is a fundamental constant of the universe. In fact, numerous other measurements made by physicists have confirmed that. Soon, the explanation of another mystery of the physical world, the photoelectric effect, would need the same quantum notion.